everybody. So as the NHL offseason continues to roll along, the news continues to roll in. And today the Florida Panthers got in on the action, having quite a busy day re-signing Anthony Duclair and Gustav Forsling and also buying out the remaining two years of Keith Yandel's contract. So busy day for the Panthers, a few different roster moves here, and we're going to take a look. Before we begin, I just ask you to please subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you haven't. It helps the channel so much and is greatly appreciated, but let's get into it. Anthony Duclair, a 25-year-old left wing who is going to be a restricted free agent uh, this offseason, has re-signed with Florida. Last season, he had a very strong year, putting up 32 points in 43 games, as well as a incredible plus 27 rating. He had 10 goals and 22 assists. He has re-signed a three-year deal with the Panthers worth $3 million per season. Um, you know, he's a guy that can move up and down the lineup, very versatile player. I think overall, this is a very, very good deal and honestly a very good cap hit for a guy that in a full 82 game season could potentially give you close to 50 points, if not a little over 50 points. So, um, very, very good deal here. I think for the Panthers and Duclair and Duclair has, uh, fit very, very well down in Florida. They also re-signed 25-year-old defenseman Gustav Forsling, who had a strong season with Florida this season. He also played 43 games, scoring 5 goals, 12 assists for 17 points and a plus 17 rating. He signs a 3-year deal worth $2.66 million per season. Um, very, uh, very good deal here. I mean, could, bottom pair guy. Could play on the second pair if you have injuries or need him to, but overall, more of a bottom pair guy, but a really, really strong one who had a very, very solid season with the Panthers last year. Really came into his own in Florida, and at 25 years old, is obviously kind of just getting into the groove at the NHL level. I think he's a guy that's going to give you, you know, somewhere around 30 points in a normal 82-game season. And if he can keep playing the way he did last year defensively, he's going to be a really solid two-way defenseman in the bottom four somewhere for Florida on their decor. And uh, I really, really like what Forsling brought to the table. And he seems to have fit really, really well in Florida as well. So these are two guys who have just finished their first seasons with the Florida Panthers. They both fit in very, very well. They both made the team better. They had very, very solid years. And now they are rewarded for it with uh, some with a three-year deal for each of them, keeping them in Florida for the next few years. And uh, very, very reasonable cap hits on their contracts as well, which is obviously good for the Panthers. And um, overall, I think both of these deals are great for, for both sides. The other thing that Florida did today was buy out the final two years of Keith Yandel's contract. Yandel is a 34-year-old defenseman who did not have a strong year with the Panthers this season. One of his worst years of his NHL career. He played all 56 games, but he only had three goals and 24 assists for 27 points and was a minus eight on the season. Uh, very low offensive output for Yandel this year, and he's never been much defensively. And at this point, he's pretty much a defensive liability. He ended up getting scratched during the playoff series against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, and was a healthy scratch for the latter part of that series after playing the first couple of games. And um, the, the writing was kind of on the wall here with Yandel. Um, he's not good defensively. He is a good power play guy, and he can put up some offensive numbers, but um, real liability in his own zone. Turns the puck over a ton, does not defend well, and uh, the offense wasn't there to make up for it this season. Only 27 points in 56 games. Not nearly good enough. And uh, when the offense doesn't outweigh the defensive issues, then at that point you have a player that is actually hurting your team, not helping it. And that's pretty much where Keith Yanda was at for this past season. So I am not at all surprised to see him get bought out. 
Like I said, he had two years left on his deal. So his buyout cap hit will affect the Panthers for the next four seasons. So he was making $6.35 million per year. Uh, his cap hit for this coming season will be $2.34 million. So they save a pretty considerable amount on the salary cap for this coming season by buying Yandel out. His 2022-23 cap hit, which would have been the final year of his contract, will be $5.39 million. So not saving as much money in year number two of the buyout, but still you know, saving money compared to if they had kept him on the team at $6.35 million. Um, so obviously, uh, you know, it, financially it is helping the Panthers here. And then in 2023-24 and 24-25, which are the buyout years, his cap hit will be $1.24 million against the salary cap for the Florida Panthers. So, um, obviously, they wouldn't have been paying him those years if uh, if he, they didn't buy him out. But because of the buyout, it extends uh, double of the, the amount of time left on his contract, which was two. So they save uh, a lot of money this coming uh, uh, this off season for this coming year. They save a little bit of money for 2022-23, and then they're going to be uh, on the hook for about 1.25 million. Uh, for uh, 2023-24 and 24-25. But Yandel um, also had a no-movement clause in his contract, which would have meant they would have had to protect him in the upcoming expansion draft. Obviously, now with him bought out in a free agent, they do not have to protect him, and that leaves a slot open for them to protect somebody else rather than wasting it on Keith Yandel. So overall, not surprised to see Yandel get bought out, and uh, I think it's it's the right move for all involved, the team and the player, to probably go their separate ways and, and start fresh with a uh, with something new, you know, Panthers will have a chance to bring in a new defenseman if they want to, and Yandel can will be a free agent come July 28th and can sign anywhere he wants in the league. So that is the news today involving the Florida Panthers. They've had a busy day. Bill Zito and the front office staff up there making couple of important re-signings with Anthony Duclair and Gustav Forsling and buying out the contract of Keith Yandel, which uh, gives them another defensive spot in to protect leading into the expansion draft and opens up some cash for them to spend this offseason, whether that's for a different defenseman or to put somewhere else that opens up a pretty considerable amount of cap space for this offseason. So, those are uh, those are the moves for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store, donation link, and channel memberships are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.